after an explosive season finale. <laughs> the big question that has been raised about Arrow Season 5 going into Season 6 is who died there on the island of Lian Yu, and that's what we're going to discuss in this video. So the ones who I believe that are definitely safe are the ones you can see on screen right now. So that's Thea, Felicity, Slade, John, uh, Dinah, Renee, Quinton, and Black Siren. Just for different reasons, like some characters wouldn't have came back if they were going to die. Some of them are series regulars, and some of them are just too important uh, to actually be killed off. So they're the ones who won't die. So first off, I think Captain Boomerang, aka Digger Harkness, is definitely dead. I mean, he was only in ever one episode of the Arrowverse, and they brought him back for this finale just quite randomly. So I think he's pretty expendable, and, you know, it wouldn't really affect anything if he died. So I think he definitely died of, from that explosion 100%. Now, in the same boat as Captain Boomerang is Malcolm Merlin. Now, Malcolm Merlin obviously killed uh, Captain Boomerang, or we assume he killed Captain Boomerang, uh, when he stepped off of the landmine. Now, is Malcolm dead? Probably for now, but... You know, Malcolm, has death has never stopped him before, so he'll probably come back at some point. So next is Samantha Clayton, and I definitely believe she is dead, um, or at least highly possible. Uh, she's obviously William's mother, who is Oliver's son, um, and I reckon that killing her would have an impact on Oliver, and also have an impact on William, forcing them together. Um, I hope they don't go down this route, because I really don't want that to happen, so I want her to survive just for that, but I reckon she's dead. So what about Curtis? Now, I believe if anybody from Team Arrow is going to die, it's going to be Curtis, just because he's the most expendable of the group. You know, he's not really that useful in the field. They don't really need a tech guy because they've got Felicity. He's just the most expendable, and I don't think he'd be a huge loss to the team if he died, although he has been quite a huge comic relief character. So, Talia Al Ghul was, of course, introduced this season, and is she dead? I honestly don't know with this one. I can't... I can't put a finger on whether I think she's dead or alive. There's a high possibility she would stay alive. I think if I had to bet, I reckon she would be alive, um, just for the future dynamic. Um, but and she's a pretty cool character, so yeah, keep her alive. Why not? So sticking to the topic of the Al Ghuls, what about Nissa Al Ghul? Now, I speak. I spoke about um, Talia and the future dynamic, and I believe that if they both survived, both sisters, then they would have that dynamic going into season six. But then also. If one of them died, maybe that would make the other one a bit more softer. I don't know, it'd be cool to see. So finally, Evelyn Sharp. I definitely think she's dead just because no one really cares about a character. Her character wasn't that great, so I think the writers probably just want to kill her off just because just to get her out of the story and give her some closure. Um, plus, she was trapped in a prison cage, so you know how she got out of that, I don't know, because everyone else had gone, so I reckon she's probably a goner. So they were my predictions about who could potentially die in that season 5 finale of Arrow. Tell me who you think died and who you think survived uh, that massive explosion on Leon Yu. Because it's quite hard to predict and we honestly don't know. And we're not going to find out until uh, September time uh, at the end of the year with, when season 6 premieres. So, um, you know, I think this is going to be a bit of a weird one. But it's going to be very cool going in. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.